All right, in this session, I'm just going to show you what a slot option will do and also the polygon while we're at it as well. So for example, I'm going to start my sketch by clicking on front plane and then clicking on sketch. If I come over here under the slot option, if I left click and on the right side of it, you're going to see a few options. There's a straight slot, center point straight slot, three point arc slot, and then center point arc slot. If I click on the straight the slot, you're going to also see the four features over here. And always use these graphics because they'll help you identify uh, which kind of slot you're using. So for example, if I drew this one, uh, I'm basically drawing the center point of two points and then expanding that to whatever radius I want with my third point. So for example, this is my first point and this is my second point. And then the last option is going to be the radius of those uh, two, you know, from here on, from those two points and out. Which is going to be equal to each other. And then I can always come over here and change all of those as well, all these options as well. Okay, so you can either change the location of your X and Y, or you can change how big you want those. So if you change this to one inch, so that means you've expanded those. Now you didn't see that change because it was really close to one inch. Let me change this to 2.0, and you're gonna see that this expands to 2.0. So that means from here to here, which just all you have to do is come over here and follow this uh, um, uh, graphic area, or go over it and it will tell you slot width. And over here, it's called slot length, okay? But this slot length is not from center to center. It's not from here to here. It's from here to here. So be careful what you're changing when you change it. So, but the two inches was from here to here. So that means I've used a diameter right here of one uh, of two inches of the circle, okay? So again, if you want to use uh, the second option, which is a center point straight slot, basically you start out at the center. So for example, here we start out from one end to the other. Now we're going to start out from the center to a point to a radius. So for example, if I come over here, click on one point, you're gonna notice that there's a line expanding in both directions. Click on the second point, and now I can create my slot. So that's the second way you can create your slot. The third way is gonna be your three point arc slot. So click on this, it's gonna be your four points. You're gonna select one, basically first you're gonna select your two ends. Your third point is gonna be somewhere ar along this line but not uh, necessarily in the center over here but curved around top or bottom of it and the last one is going to be the width of your arc or the radius of your arc so i'm going to zoom out a little bit i'm going to select my first point and you're going to notice a line expands in both directions second point i'm sorry i must have selected uh that see i'm still in my first option so i'm going to press an escape i'm going to go back again over here and click on my three point arc slot. So now I'm in the right selection. I'm going to select one point. You're going to notice that the radius expands, but it's not aligned this time. So select my second point. Now I'm trying to select where my center will be. Okay, so there's your center point. Uh, uh, th th that's how my arc will be. So there's a radius. And so I'm going to just expand it randomly like to right here. And then I'm going to expand my radius to the points. So that's how you create a uh, a three-point arc with a an arc to it okay so that's why this is called a three-point arc slot okay so the last point the last one is going to be uh, your center point arc slot and this is basically doing the same thing but your uh, order of selection is different so first you would select the center of your entire slot so for basically this point right here then you would select one point then this point and then your radius of your slot so for example, I start this by going over here. You're gonna select that circle. And then you would say, I want it from here to here, for example. And then you would expand your slot. So that's how you use your four way, the four ways you use your slot. Now, I don't normally use these very often. The most points, that most times you're gonna be using the first two options. So the uh, most popular options are your straight slot and your center point straight slot. And of course you have all the options to change on the left side under parameters as well. Okay, so I'm going to click on exit here without saving the changes. And I'm going to come over here under uh, polygon. So click on polygon and then just click on front plane. So you can start sketching on your front plane. Now you have options to select how many sides you want your polygon to be. So say I want this to be a 10 sided polygon. Now let's keep it at six sides for now. Click on the center over here and you can expand it and turn it however you want. Okay, now the best way to do is come over here and just snap it towards the center over here so you can get everything uh, equal distance from each other or you can put it at any angle you want and then change the angle a little bit later right here on the left side okay so for example I'm gonna make it a random angle and with uh, five sides 
okay, or six sides, I'm sorry. So there you go, it draws your circle with your polygon around it and it uh, rotates it 41 degrees from each other. But I can come over here and let's go ahead and change this to 45 degrees. Now it's a little bit more, um, you know, it's 45 degrees from each other. But if I want to make it look more symmetrical to each other, I'll go ahead and come over here and click on 90. And there you go. Now it looks a little bit more uh, symmetrical to each other. Uh, you can change the sides. Say I want eight sides. Come over here and click on eight. And that will change to eight sides. So now it's got eight sides to that polygon. And that's how you create a polygon. Okay. So uh, in this session, you've learned how to create a slot and the polygon feature.